Welcome to the 2020-2021 class registration video. This step-by-step -step video will provide you instructions on completing online registration through the source. Please review all registration materials made available to you by your school before making your selections. And if you have further questions about making class selections, please reach out to your school counselor. The first step in navigating to the class registration portal is to go to seattleschools.org in any browser that you are comfortable using. Once there, we are going to navigate to the Student and Family Portals button here at the top of the page. Click that, and this is going to take us to a page that offers many online academic tools. The one we are interested in today is the source. This is a reminder that only students will have access to the class registration portal via the source. The parents will have access to a view only option of the portal, but they will not be able to make class selections. So go ahead and select the source button here. The normal source login page will load and you can use your usual username and password and log in. Once you've successfully logged on to the student source page, you will be taken to your usual student source account that will look much like this one. This is a test account that does not show real student data, but it does show us the left hand side menu bar where we will find the class registration portal button. I have highlighted it here in yellow for you to see. If you do not have the class registration portal button and your school has directed you to complete registration for next year, please reach out to school staff to investigate why you may not have this class registration button. If you do have the class registration button, please click on it and we will begin. Once you are in the class registration portal, you will see a page that looks very similar to this one. The portal structure of all SPS middle and high school registration portals is the same, but the instructions and the categories are going to be different. So it's important that you review all directions and review all materials made available to you by your school before you proceed. Feel free to pause the video now if you need to take a break to review the materials made available to you. If you are in high school, you are going to make choices in all core categories, as well as electives and elective alternates. If you are in middle school, you are going to be making choices in only electives and elective alternates. All other core courses are automatically added for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders based on current course progression. Before we get started making our selections, I'm going to explain some features of the registration portal. The small pencil button seen here is the way that we access the options for each category. So by clicking that, it brought up this option box, and we will access these again in a moment. The red exclamation point seen next to the pencil button means that we must make a choice in this category. It is required. If you are in high school, your page will likely begin with the core required categories you must choose in. If you are in middle school, it will begin with the elective options, which may also be required for you. It depends on your school. So, as we make choices, our credit hours is, are going to accumulate in this tally at the bottom. This tells us the number of credit hours that are required, and this is where our tally will accumulate as we make choices. Your number may be lower or higher than six, but if you are in high school, it will likely be six, and if you are in middle school, it will likely be two or three. Let's scroll back up to the top and start making our selections. We will begin with the first required category listed on the page. By clicking the yellow pencil button, this will bring up the option box for the first category. This category alerts us that we must select two courses in order to fulfill the category. Unless otherwise stated here or in your materials made available to you, please select two courses in each category. This option box only shows us two courses because those are the only two we can choose from. But on your screen, you may have more options, and there may even be multiple pages, specifically in 
elective options. So please be sure to review all pages before you make your selection in all categories. Once you have made your selections, to save these selections, we are going to select OK. Now the two selections have been loaded into the category that we fulfilled, and it is now showing a green check mark because we have completed it. I will now repeat that same exact process for the next three required courses. Now, as you can see, I have completed the remaining required courses here and made my selections that have accumulated here. Let's go check our credit tally. We have accumulated four credits by fulfilling our four core categories. As we scroll up, if you can see here, we have ninth grade PE and health. This is an example of an additional academic requirement. As you can see here in the instructions, it says that all freshmen must take health and personal fitness that we want to choose for grad readiness. So it is important that you review all of the instructions for all of your categories so you make all the choices necessary. This specific choice would only be relevant for high school students, students entering into ninth grade, but you may have a choice, an additional choice that may not be required, but that you do want to take. So please review all categories before making all of your choices. Now let's check our tally once again, and now we have five. So we have one final credit hour to fulfill. Now, if you are in middle school, this is where you will be making your choices in electives and elective alternates. Since we have one more credit hour that we can fulfill with an elective, we have a few options. We have these year long options here, which we can choose one of. We also have these two categories of semester long options, which we can choose one of each of to fulfill our 1.0 credit hour requirement. This is why it is important to review all of the categories made available to you before you make your choice. I am going to make a choice in the world language category. So I'm going to choose two selections, unless otherwise stated by my school, to fulfill the one year long category and select OK. So as we check on our credit hours, we have fulfilled all of our credit hours now. There is one additional required section though. And this is the required elective alternate section. This may be required for you. Your elective alternates may not be required, but please choose your elective alternates in any case. There are going to likely be many options in this category, so please review all of them before making a selection. I am going to choose a secondary world language option in case I do not get my first choice. But because there are four alternate elective choices required, I still have my red exclamation point because I only chose two. So I'm going to go back in and choose a third option if I do not get my first or my second choice. If you are in high school, you will also have the option of skill center selection at the bottom. If you are interested in that, please make your selections there and follow up at the website listed here in order to complete the application. Once you are completed with your choices, please review them to make sure that all of them are the choices you intended to make. Once you feel good about all the choices you made, choose the Submit button that you will see at the bottom of the page. I do not have it because this is a test account, but you will have it. So please select that button and it will take you to the next page which will show you a list of all course selections that you made. Please print or take a screenshot of that page and save it for your records. Thank you for watching the class registration instructional video. If you have further questions or concerns about 2020-2021 class registration, please refer to the contact information in the materials made available to you by your school.